Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to this intimate evening where art and Indian classical music merge for the cause of peace. The Dove Wings Peace Project is Fatima Luta's tireless effort to take the message of peace for the Middle East and the world in her expression of painting and art. We begin the evening with a poem dedicated to the Dove Wings Project, written by me, Sujata Chaudhary. Thereafter, we shall be treated to some sublime singing by the voice of Shiva. Shiva, sir, as we call him, has been passionate and dedicated to Indian classical music for the last 22 years. Born and brought up in Mumbai, India, Shiva has trained rigorously under his mother and then three maestros, ustads, in the field of Hindustani khayal singing. Over the years, Shivasa has developed his own distinct style of singing. What is rather exceptional about Sir is that his flawless grounding in classical singing, he is extremely hip and versatile with traditional Sufiana singing and many other forms. He sings in nine different languages. His voice strikes the very heart of a person and his singing style is divinely soulful. I will now present to you the poem that I have written which I dedicate to Fatima and her tireless work for peace and to the Dowling's project. Dao The concept of the poem is from the understanding that peace is not about crowds. Peace is about every individual being at peace with themselves. It is my belief that if every individual is at peace with themselves, is in connection with the God inside themselves, then on a worldwide basis there will be peace. It is because individuals are in unrest, in agitation, that there is collective agitation around the world. poem is The Doubt Within. Have you ever seen a dove on a wall, silent and observant, peaceful and still? She coos, she watches, and suddenly takes a flight. Fly, fly up in the sky. She has never questioned the sky. Which part is mine? Which is theirs? Never divided, never made a claim. For the dove, the sky is vast. She flies without any fear. She perches on a tree. Never ask the tree, are you mine? With many other birds, she shares the space. There is no conflict of any race. She drinks from water in the stream. Never ask, are you just there for me? For the dove, it is all very simple. She accepts it all as existence. There is no trouble, there is no pain, 
There is no bought battle of what have I gained. She unites in perfect rhythm to the harmony of the universe. Without a complaint she stays, without any pain she plays. The moment of existence is all that matters. Beyond that for her nothing shatters. No worries, no anger, no hate. Just one with God in a happy state. Pure and white, look at her might. What happened to you, O oh human race? With all the blessings and the Lord's grace, you gained, yet you pain. You battle and you fight, and forget that He is right. He is the kingdom, He is the light. It is in your soul, He burns so bright. But you are blinded and you do not see. You point at others and then ask, why me? Your search for peace outside of you, forgetting that it resides in you. Look within your own soul. Be still and listen to your voice. Love yourself. And from there you will arise. Then you will see others who stand by you and find yourself in them as you do in you. From there only love will flow. Peace will be yours and the world will glow. Pure and white, you shall be too. Like the dove, you too shall coo. Arise and awaken, O oh humankind, to the God within you. From there, spread out your wings wide. Take a flight, oh, take a flight. Listen to your soul, it cries out to you. Come to me, come to me. I am within you. Feel me, see me, touch me. I am the one for you. If everyone saw their own within, there will be no battle, no war, no despair with kin. We too shall be like the dove, pure and white, and our wings will soar and take us high. Arise, arise, O oh humankind, find the dove within for peace of mind. Find the dove within for peace of mankind. Thank you. I will just spend uh, a little time just telling you a little bit about what we're going to sing. Indian classical music has its origin in devotion and divinity. And it is a tradition which goes back to many, many centuries. The singing is based on raga, which are different combinations of musical notes. Each note has its own soul. And soul, ruh, ruhani, every note is ruhani. And so depending on the notes that are used in any raga, each raga has a ruh of its own, a time of day or night when it is sung, and most importantly, a mood of its own. Within Indian classical music, there are different styles where what we are going to sing for you is Hindustani Khayal. This singing has its roots in north of India. Khayal, as you know, is a thought, an imagination. 
which is in the poem, which is expressed through a raga. A raga in this style of singing can be elaborated for hours at a stretch, where the aura of the raga is built up slowly and meditatively by exploring the soar and purity of each note. We will give you a brief glimpse of this. The raga we present to you is called Vrindavani Sarang, which has its inspiration from Lord Krishna's city where he lived. It is an evening raga, and the aura of the raga is divinely soulful. The poem of the presentation, the words that we will sing, have been written and composed by Shiva sir himself. The poem is a humble calling to God to have mercy on the world. It is in his praise that we sing and call to him to show kindness, love and mercy on us all. The language in the singing is Hindustani from India, but the language of music is universal. It is from the soul and we hope it speaks to your soul from our room to your room. Ladies and gentlemen, I am honored to present to you the voice of Shiva. <laughs> 